All right, y'all, so this is a super quick video to kind of remind you about all the steps we talked about in class for your current sketchbook assignment. So you're going to draw on a note card first if you're wanting to do the kind of cheat method or like the easy method. Again, you uh, need to do it on here first. If you draw it directly on your paper, it's not going to do anything. You can't transfer it. If you're currently at home and you did not pick up a note card and you don't have one at home, feel free to just take a scrap piece of paper and cut it out to whatever size you need and draw it on there. It doesn't necessarily have to be a note card. That's just what I had for y'all in class. So, you know, if you're still wanting to do this method and you didn't get one in class, that's how I would approach it, okay? So I did a heart. Obviously, you need to do a different thing because you need to do an object. The more complicated your object is, the more creative it is, it has more lines, more creative shapes, organic shapes, the better your grade will be. Stay away from simple things, stay away from food, because that's also very simple. So try to do something that is definitely more on the creative side, okay? So, but I just did a heart because this is a quick little demo video. And I traced this with a Sharpie so you could see it easier on camera, okay? so. Um, like we kind of just uh, and uh, this, sorry, <laughs> just like we discussed in class. Okay, you can use a regular pencil. It needs to be wooden. Try to not use a mechanical because it won't work as well. I uh, always recommend to press down pretty hard when you do a graphite transfer, just so you know you get a lot of graphite on the back. I'm just kind of scribbling to make sure I cover everything. Okay, so that's what I got. So, you would just take it, and I'm going to just put it here. Now, you can use tape to tape it down. Just be careful that it doesn't tear your tape. Or if you're really risky, you can honestly just hold it down really steady and trace it. So, I'm going to very haphazardly trace this. I know it will not be perfect, but it's very, very light on camera, but it's there. Um, the thing that we mentioned in class was to reapply. So reminding yourself like it's a sunscreen. You want to put more graphite on the back just so you get more to transfer. And then you would do that again and again, and then one more time, okay? So that's how I would do the graphite transfer process, okay? If you're not gonna do this method and you just wanna straight up draw it, just make sure that you know you're redrawing the exact same thing four times. So it will need to look as accurate as you can get it, which is hard to do when you have to redraw it and not just kind of transfer it out, okay? So you can use a pen or you can just put a lot of pressure with your pencil to transfer it, whatever method works for you. And then I would encourage you, again, haphazardly doing this. Y'all need to do yours nicer. <laughs> um, but after you've transferred it, I would highly recommend you trace over it with a pen. It can be a basic black ballpoint pen like what I have, or if you're fancy, like me, and you have a bunch of different types of pens and thicknesses, this is my pin bag, um, you can do that and get some line variation. If not, don't worry about all that. Line variation is not a grade for your sketchbook assignments, but it's always highly encouraged if possible. So again, that's how I do the transfer method, okay? Now, when it comes to the color, all right, I'm just gonna quickly, haphazardly draw hearts, okay? So this is gonna be your original, okay, place in natural setting. Consider the texture to add it somewhere. Remember we talked about when in doubt, draw your object on the table and add some wood texture. That's always a good idea or you can even draw like a window and put like a scenic root thing on there and get some texture that way okay so that's original you can color it however you want however you want okay now 
you don't have to do it the exact same order that I'm doing it, but I'm just reminding you that red goes with green, orange goes with blue, and then violet goes with yellow. You can do yellow as the object and violet as the background, vice versa. You can have whatever color you want here. You can put blue green, sorry, you can put blue orange here first and red green here. This, what I have written, does not have to be in a specific order. I need it to be with the exact color that it needs to be with. Okay, so that's all I'm asking. Now, when it comes to the values that we kind of talked about in class as well, if you are doing something that has black or white, okay, we had our little thing about a car. Okay, we got some wheels. All right, you can't leave anything white or black. So if you're doing, let's say this is blue and orange, right? And I wanna make my background orange, but I wanna make the car blue, okay? This would need to be a dark blue because it's the darkest value. And then the car can be a medium blue. And then this window situation can be light blue, okay? And any other little details that you wanna add you can kind of play with that, okay? But it's the dark and light color that we're looking for. We're not looking for anything else, okay? If I'm asking you to use blue and orange, orange is the background, you figure out how to use different types of blues, okay? Um, don't try to put orange inside your object, okay? I know it would still be considered complementary colors, but I'm just wanting you to do the blue for the object and the orange for the background vice versa for the whole thing okay so hopefully i explained it again clearly and this is obviously going to be on canvas just in case if you need any kind of refreshers all righty okay